This demonstration will show you how to set your headphone and microphone, or speakers and microphone, as the default devices on your computer so that you can be assured that they will work during the webinar session. These procedures will ensure that your sound is connected to your webinar. First, plug in the audio device you are using, be it a headphone, be it a microphone. Make sure the computer sees it as operational. It'll be a USB connection. The first time the device is plugged in, the computer will try to recognize the device and then will inform you with a message that the device is ready to use. After it's ready to use, you can perform the steps that follow on the following slides. First, click Start from your Start menu. Then click the Control Panel. In the Control Panel that opens, look for Sound and select it. Or, if the control panel opens itself this way, presenting categories, choose Hardware and Sound, and then choose Manage Audio Devices. The Sound window will open to the Playback tab, which is good, and you will be asked, step one, to select the device that you are using, so be sure that you are selecting the right device. Its driver name will tell you and then click Set Default. As a result, the device you are using will be the default device when you run your audio, your Adobe Connect meeting. You'll also need to set your microphone, and it's important to set the microphone you're using as the default. You use the same window as before, the sound window, but instead of, instead of playback, you select the recording tab. The screencast that follows picks up where this image leaves off. So the sound window is selected and you want to choose the recording tab because that's the tab for the microphones. And you can see that there are two microphones which are reacting to the sound of my voice. There is the headset microphone which is not set as the default. Actually it is set as the default device. Otherwise, if I were to choose the webcam microphone, I'd be clicking Set Default if I wanted to use that. But in most cases, you'll want to use a headphone with a microphone wrapped around so that your voice is always being picked up with good presence. But that's not all. After you set this as the default, you want to double-click the device to open up its own properties and then click its levels. Now these are the levels for the headphone microphone. Because sometimes when you plug in a new device, the, it will be set to zero, and that is not where you want it to be. So you want to make sure that the device is set at a high enough level to be heard. So you're finished with this now, so you click OK, and OK again, and those are your defaults. To recap the steps that you've just observed, first you open up the sound window to playback and make sure that the device you're using is selected and click set default if it's not already the default. Then you click the recording tab so that the recording tab opens in the sound window. Select the microphone that you're using. Again, it's recommended you use a microphone attached to a headphone so it follows you around. Set it as the default if it isn't already. And then double click the device again in order to bring up its properties where you will choose levels. And that will enable you to adjust the microphone level to a reasonable strength if you have not done that already.